further ado, please join me in welcoming Mr. Akhavan to the podium. Our head judge, Mr. Kami Akhavan. <laughs> the goal of debate is to enlighten, to stoke critical thinking, to use our ethos and logos and pathos so that the debaters and the audience can see the range of opinion artfully, respectfully, passionately, compellingly expressed. And when we walk away, you know, we all benefit. Debate benefits us all. But debate is conflict. There's no question. And conflict is uncomfortable. But guess what? Learning is uncomfortable. That's how it works. It is imperative for us to talk about these issues in the classroom because that's what the Founding Fathers designed this whole experiment and democracy to thrive on. We'll discuss all sides of this issue. Let's meet our panel. In Los Angeles, California, we are joined by Kami Akavan, President and Managing Editor of Procon.org. Es presidente de eh, Procon.org. He joins us now from Los Angeles. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. So, first of all, you must have gathered a lot of data. What does the research on gun control tell you? It tells us this has been a historic debate in this country for more than 200 years. Let me come to you, Kami. The arguments that are given for euthanasia, do you think most of them stem for people's religious beliefs or are there other secular arguments out there too? Religion is certainly a common one, but there are many other secular arguments. On the religious side, we know, for instance, the Catholic Church is opposed to euthanasia, whereas the Dalai Lama has come out and says if it will end suffering, it may be okay for terminal patients to accept physician aid in dying. Kami Akavan is president of Procon, a national nonprofit organization committed to exploring issues that people care about, taking care to get both sides of the story. Kami, welcome to Closer Look. Thank you, Kenny. My pleasure. The only way that we're going to overcome that problem, that is the uncivil discourse of the bullying, uh, of people not understanding each other, of political gridlock, and all these major, major problems, is by understanding the other point of view. We just want to make sure people are informed. That's how our government was designed. It was built to last because we were going to have an informed citizenry, generationally powering our democracy. All it really is, is exposure. We expose ourselves to different points of view, and in this case, artfully and respectfully, different points of view, and then recognize, wow, those people aren't crazy. They just got to their conclusion in a different way. In a lot of ways, that's really empowering and gives me hope. 